Everyone welcome and thank you so much for joining in on this video. Today I'm going to show you a simple and easy hack on how to activate the transverse abdominis. If you like the video, please make sure that you click the like and subscribe to this series. You're going to learn in this series a lot of wonderful and easy and simple hacks on how to create more stability and have a pain-free life. Happy practicing! Hey, my name is Yogi Aaron, and today we're going to talk about the transverse abs and how to activate them. I am a muscle specialist and the creator of Applied Yoga Anatomy and Muscle Activation. And what we're going to do today is learn on how to activate the transverse abs. Now, why do you want to do that? Transverse abs are the biggest muscle group in the abdominals that are really critical to support the spine. So sometimes you might, you know, bend over to pick something up and you'll be like, ow, my back hurts. The reason why your back hurts is because your abs, your specifically your transverse abs, of course you do have three other layers. You have the rectus abdominis, the internal and external obliques, but at the bottom layer is the transverse abs. And so if you do this little exercise, you'll notice that when you do bend over, the pain is no longer there. I am really excited to share this little exercise. My teacher shared it with me and I'm like, why aren't more people doing this? This is fantastic. This is golden. This has also been a game changer for me. From a muscle activation perspective, the most important muscle group to make sure is activated is the transverse abs. Now a lot of people work on building their core strength up through doing a lot of crunches. Well crunches are really good, maybe. They only strengthen the rectus abdominis, okay? But you do have three other layers that need to be addressed. Those three other layers are super important in maintaining stability of the trunk and spine. So from a stability standpoint, we want to make sure that those muscles are activated. Now you can always sense when you don't have stability that when you go and pick something up, you pick, bend forward to pick something up on the floor, if you're kind of holding yourself like this and, you know, to keep yourself from being in pain, that's a good sign that you are lacking in stability. <laughs> Pay attention to how you move and how you compensate. And by the way, compensation is not a bad thing. We all do it. But that is a clear signal that there's something going on. When your movement is not fluid, when your movement is being <laughs> supported by holding something, those are little cues that perhaps you don't have as much stability as you want. When I broke my leg, I used to, when I go down the stairs, I used to always grab the handrail <laughs> and really take my time. Of course, I had just broken my leg. My body did not have stability. As I got stronger, I didn't need to grip the handrail. Although I will tell you, many, 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 many years later, in my mind, I still feel like sometimes I don't have that stability. So one of the places to get that stability and to feel stronger and more secure in your body is getting the transverse abs activated. So this is a, called the Poloff Press. And the Poloff Press is something that you can actually do in the gym. Sometimes you'll find machines that will sort of imitate this. If you do use a machine, go down to like the lowest weight, maybe five or 10 pounds. I always start, suggest starting off with less. Less is always more, okay? Now, one of the main functions of the TVA, the transverse abdominis, is to maintain stability in the trunk and spine. It doesn't have a lot of movement. It doesn't, it actually doesn't move that much. Okay, there's not much movement, there's not much contraction. It's more of a stabilizing muscle, if that makes sense to you. So we're not really gonna move much, but what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of force to the body, force direction, 
and have the transverse abs maintain um, that kind of lock in, in that stance. Another great little way that you can build up the transverse abs is in plank pose. And what I've discovered recently in my own body is that side plank seems to actually activate the transverse abs much more effectively than just coming into a simple plank. So you can try that. I like the pull-off press. In my opinion, it's actually been one of the most effective ways in my body in feeling like the transverse abs are actually activated and strong. So what you want to do is, if you're using the bands, is to find some sort of pull here. Um, if you don't have something that's as high as this, you can also use, you know, sometimes you have like a banister or something that's about hip height. You can use that as well. Just come down onto your knees. That's completely fine. But I usually manage to find some sort of tree or pole or post somewhere. And you want to have a band. Now, I like these bands here. Um, and I think that if my memory serves me, this is actually the middle strength. So this is perfect for me. I do have one that's higher strength and I probably could use it. But when we're talking about muscle activation, we're talking, we need to kind of have that idea in our head that less is more. Okay, we're not looking to go for broke. We're not looking to strengthen, per se, the transverse abdominis. We're really looking more to activate it. So, less is usually more. So, I'm going to bring this band around here. Now, I'll just show you really quickly what this is going to look like. And then I will explain it a little bit more. So, this is the pull-off press here. <coughs> okay? So, this is what it will look like. You're going to, again, bring the band about shoulder width or shoulder height and grab the bands here with your, or the ends of the bands, the handles with both hands. Now, when I bring it out, I usually will set this up a little bit first, okay? And I want it at a 90 degree angle, okay? So you can see that there's a 90 degree angle from my chest to the handles to the post, okay? You don't want to be less than 90 degrees and you don't want to be more than 90 degrees. You want to be pretty much as much as you can at 90 degrees. You're going to bring the, the handles into your chest. This is your resting state, okay? And then I'm going to bring them out and you can feel that there's a little bit of tension in the transverse abs. Again, we're not looking to necessarily strengthen, we're looking to activate, okay? And when a muscle is activated, by the way, it will then start to strengthen because you're actually starting to use it in different movements. If it's not activated, you're not really using those muscles. So the efficacy of that muscle will actually start to go up, it'll become stronger, and, of course, you'll notice more stability. I'm going to grab the uh, handles like this. I'm going to bring the handles out. Now, I'm not quite at 90 degrees, so I'm going to reset. Okay. Now, when I do this and I bring them out, come out a little bit more. <laughs> there you go, Aaron. So, bring the handles in. Bring them out. We're going to hold for six seconds. When I bring them out, I just rotate away from the post about two degrees so that I twist the torso just a little bit and you're going to feel this in the transverse abdominis here. Okay? And then bring it back. Again, six seconds. So we bring it out, hold for one. So I bring it out, rotate about two degrees, maybe one, and then hold for two, three, four, five, six, bring it back, and bring it out. Now, this isn't something that's going to make you sweat. You shouldn't feel like you're having this major workout, but you will feel the core stabilizing your body. Bring the handles in, 
You're going to squeeze the hips into the mid midline. So don't allow your hips to move here. Bring it out and then twist the torso, not the arms, the torso about, or rather the shoulders, move the shoulders, your upper torso about two degrees. And that was six, bring it back and bring it back out again. We're gonna hold for six seconds. Two, three, four, five, six. Bring it back and then bring it out. Twist a little, two, three, four, five, six. So that was five times. We're gonna do it six times and bring it back out and hold one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll bring it back. Very good. So I'm gonna end this video and then I'm gonna go when I turn it off and do it the other side because I'm about to go for my walk. And this is one of the great poses or great exercises, great muscle activations that I like to do before I go for my walkie poos. <laughs> and <clears throat> it really is a game changer. I suffer from knee issues. Um, my adductors often get overused because my glutes aren't working. But one of the, I guess, glues or postures that glues everything together is making sure that my transverse abdominis um, is working well. And I find that if my TVA is firing up, a lot of the other issues actually start to not bother me so much. So I will do a few other things like bridge pose um, to prepare me for my walk. I'll also do something to activate my hip flexors and I probably will do something to activate my adductors. But the one thing I try to always do every single day is the pull off press. It's again, really fabulous. And if you're in the gym, you can find some machines that sort of mimic this again, start off at five pounds. If that's easy, maybe bring it to 10, but I would not suggest doing too much. If your muscles are not working and you start using too much weight and it, really doesn't take that much, you can actually begin to weaken and stress the muscle out even more. One of the reasons why muscles shut down is because of stress, trauma, and overuse. So when we're talking about lessons more, we're really, it's a really important idea to hold in your mind as you're attempting to do these muscle activation techniques. Stress, trauma, overuse debilitates muscle function and creates more stress. When the muscle is stressed, it begins to get tight. As the muscle begins to get tight, the other parts of the body start to tighten up. Tightening is a protective mechanism in the body. What we wanna do is begin to, as Greg would say, melt that tightness. Greg is my teacher. Melt that tightness, so that, and we do that by getting the muscles to work more effectively. So, have fun with the Paul Off Press. Try to make it part of your daily routine. I hope you enjoyed this little webinar inside my <laughs> stairwell with the fire escape. But this post makes a perfect um, uh, prop for the Paul Off Press. Have a great day, you guys.